here I am going to install the Woad jukebox. Now the Woad basically comes with a stand, the chip itself, the power cable for the drive, and another drive cable. Now I found it much easier to remove this cable that they come pre-packaged to it, so it's much easier for the install. Now we have this cable removed, the install will be much easier. Here's a Wii E32 drive, just to confirm that there's no writing on the chip itself. The Wii power cable is labeled as well. The other cable goes to the one labeled DVD, which then goes to the DVD drive. The other supply cable, DVD cable, goes to the part labeled DVD. And the longer supply cable goes to serial. Power cable for the DVD Now I've got some tape that we crease up here just to prevent any shorting. And put some on the top and on the bottom. This other cable hanging out by the battery here. Now, what we can do is we can connect this cable back up. Spawn in, pulls this back up. Just notice this now, very nice design. They've left a hole for the fan. Right, now we can do the rest. The USB cable that comes out on the back goes to the back of the USB port here that powers the LCD screen for the load. Now we can heat it up. See the boat come on here. Here we will 
fucking a hard drive, USB drive. Now, once you plug it in, you'll see here it'll you can choose. Wait for the drive to recognize. Recognize it'll show you the games. Select the drive. There's three games, four games here. All of these games are problematic with the USB loaders. You can try the new Mario Brothers. Select it. Selected. There you go, there's Mario playing. Now what we'll do is we'll shut the Wii off. Turn it back on. Wait for it to load. Now here's the best feature of the world which we just discovered as well. We'll go into flat load so we can play backups from disks. It's in flat load now. Actually, here's a copy of New Super Mario Brothers. Insert that into the Wii. And there you have it, the world working with D32 drives on back of this. I'll try the world again here, just show you some of the settings. There's a favorites, you can select eight of your favorite games if you want to list them in there. Select game feature which will go into your hard drive. If you select flat load, it will allow you to load back from DVDs, even on D32 drives. You go into settings, they have a region setting, you can turn it off, you can turn it Jap Japanese, US, Euro, Korean. Updates, you can select on or off. Auto boot, on or off as well. Reload is for if you want the Wii to keep booting from the same game you previously started from. And of course, they have a save feature here.